Okay, I'm here in my 2007 Jeep Wrangler JK, and if you've run into the issue with the parking brake like I did, um, you went to pull up on it one day and you broke it. The cable snapped. So you can see here that I've got no resistance at all on the parking brake. It just pulls right up. It's because the cable is snapped. So we're going to replace this today. So I ordered my part from Mopar. It is part number 52059887 Alpha E. So that's the part right there. And it comes. See some of the part numbers there and the connector there for the detector. So this thing is pretty easy to get out. It only takes four screws to remove the console, center console. You're going to use your trusty Titan T30 Torx wrench. And we'll start with this one right here. Move the seat forward. And I've already removed the two on the other side. And here's the one behind the seat. Now some other videos they had to remove the entire center console and I think that works pretty well but I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try to leave the console in place by only removing the screws and just lifting it up to see if there's enough clearance for me to replace the parking brake without having to remove the entire console which also means I would have to remove the gear shifter knob and fight the issue with the uh, with the four wheel drive shifter so I'm going to pull this thing all the way up and then I'm going to give her a lift here alright so there we are there's the center console inside and what I'm going to do is lift up high enough on this to let it rest on top of the seat belt locks so there now the center console is held up for me with the seats all the way in the forward position and you see I've got my neoprene seat covers on there which I love this black and yellow but man they get dirty look I don't know if you can see that it stains up pretty bad and I've only had them for about six months and barely barely use this back seat but anyway So here's what happened to my brake assembly. You see, I just snapped the cable in half. I've been working out a lot lately, but uh, man, those protein shakes are paying off. So anyway, I'm gonna. I already took these two bolts off here, and I'm gonna take the two forward ones off. Let's see how hard they are. I haven't even touched those yet. That one was easy enough to get to. And the fourth one is going to be right here. A little bit troublesome to get to, but oops. Let's see. This is going to be the hardest one. If you're a big fellow, you might have trouble getting your hands in there, but the biggest guy in the world so my hands will fit up in there all right now we're gonna give her a lift now let's hold her back I've got something connected up here 
here on this side, looks like I've got a cable assembly that's connected with a quick connect and I've got this power, uh, not power, but the sensor, I've got a disconnect so that's, you just squeeze it, you squeeze that little pressure plate right there and it pops right off and this joker just probably pulls right out. There we go, and voila, there's my parking brake assembly, old one, <clears throat> set it over to the side, it's pretty grimy up in here, but that's okay, alright, let's, uh, let's put the new one in, let's see what happens here. Alright, we're going to start by putting couple of these bolts back in. Here comes the fun one. I'm working blind. Just filling it as I go. Not doing such a good job so far. There we go. Other two bolts and those end finger tight. All right now we'll put uh, connect the harness. There we go. Go ahead and tighten down the bolts while I'm here because I feel like pretty comfortable that this is good to go. Oh dear, I see the issue. How am I going to get my parking lever up because the console's in the way? Looks like I do have to remove the entire thing. Well, darn. Okay, I might have made a terrible mistake, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. What I did was I wound up taking all of the screws or the bolts out of the, uh, the assembly and I lifted it up. And then I put these two, I put this through the hole, and then I push down to try to get the assembly um, <laughs> through the hole and then get these two bolts in. But when I did, this lifted up in a ratcheting motion, and now it's in at an angled position, even with the pin in place. I don't know if I've made a terrible mistake or not, but let's find out. Let's get the other two bolts in.
Hey, look at there. I found my tofosis. Now I get to wear my tofosis again. See, working on your car pays off. All right, let's try tightening these guineas in. All right, that's all four in nice and tight. Okay. Now let's see if I can get this choker back down. And what happens when I pull that pin? Oh boy. Go double check to make sure the harness is actually connected. All right, it's connected and it's pulling the cables. What did I do there? Work it down. Let's pull the pin. Now let's see if I can get it back into place. Okay, after a little wibble, wobble, wiggle, I finally got it back in. Just turns out my seat was jammed up against it trying to keep it from going in. So now you can see my bolt holes are lined back up. That's true for all four. Um, whenever I pulled the emergency brake, it had to ratchet a few times. But I see now, it feels like it's putting pressure on the brakes again. So there, I didn't even have to pull the console out. That was nice. Um, with a little bit of learning curve, that only took, what, maybe 30 minutes or so? Um, if you know what you're doing, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Not so bad.